The University of New Mexico is hurting for money, cutting salary, cutting co courses. So, why is UNM about to shell out a bushel of bucks to a company to help find the school's next president? Couldn't all those smart people at the school do that job themselves? News 13's Katie Kim is live in the Newsplex. Dig UNM regions say they need to launch a nationwide search to find the best candidate for the job. And they say no one at the university is qualified to lead that search. So they're getting ready to pay upwards of $200,000 to a firm that can. It's no secret that UNM's 21st president will make hundreds of thousands of dollars a year. President David Schmidley, who's retiring next May, rakes in a cool 600 grand a year. But the person to fill the school's top post won't be the only one raking in a lot of cash. Somewhere between 100 dollars and $175,000. That's how much the firm that finds the next president will collect, roughly 30% of the next president's annual salary. So why can't the school do its own hiring? None of the regents uh, are experts in finding uh, presidents or hiring a president for the University of New Mexico. UNM Region President Jack Fortner says the school's Human Resources Department isn't cut out for the task either. So the university hired a California-based firm to do the job. Anytime you do a search for the, uh, an organization like the University of New Mexico, you need to do a national search. But Fortner says the school is trying to pinch its pennies this time around by using video conference interviews to cut down on travel costs. Still, UNM students who say they've suffered the brunt of budget cuts and tuition hikes call the cost of hiring a search firm excessive. I feel like it's really not needed, you know. Um, I feel a little bit of, not really anger, but it's kind of like disappointed in the in the school. Obviously, they're having to pay for something if they're increasing tuition, and it seems like it should be education, not paying an outside company to do something that they already have people in place to do. The Board of Regents is currently forming a 20 or so member committee made up of students, faculty, and community groups to help narrow down the candidates. The board's also taking a survey to find out what people want in their next president. Back to you. Okay, Katie, the university hopes to have that new president by next March. Incidentally, the firm that helped to pick Schmidley was paid more than $220,000, but he was not exactly hard to find. He was already the president of Oklahoma State and already had a house in Placidus and a family in Albuquerque.